Quarter 3, Rock Bottom. We get to see Wade's sorry life hit rock bottom when he kept gaining weight, barely had any interactions with human, and became excessively self-centered. He didn't think about the egg, but more of what his life had become. This is where I got really sold on the story. My favorite moment is when Wade hits rock rock bottom. It made his wrongdoings look kind of acceptable and made his comeback story even better. As Wade saw he gained too much weight, he decided to put a fitness lock on his Oasis device and worked out every day. Eventually, he goes on a quest with Shoto and Daito, gaining him an artifact that lets him turn into Ultraman. Except, he decided to give it to Daito, so... After seeing that Artemis had found the Jade Key, the next key after the Copper one, Wade finally woke up. He remembered what he had to do, so the Corpo Freaks didn't get it before him and make the Oasis a ad spam. On his way to find the key, he gets sidetracked and plays a perfect game of Pac-Man that gains him a quarter that is marked as an artifact, except it doesn't tell him what it does. Anyway, on his way to find that Jade Key, H gives him a hint that leads him straight to the Jade Key. To get the key, he has to play through a text adventure game, getting all the treasures and gaining himself the key. The, the key was wrapped in tinfoil that made itself into a unicorn, after you said the word unicorn. Wade goes and finds a gate, where he has to do a complicated series of steps, eventually giving way to Star that points to the Crystal Key, which is the key after the Jade Key. Also during this adventure, the Jade Key rush, where every gunter went to get the key, ended up in the untimely death of Daito. But not as Avatar. The Sixers ended up killing Daito in real life by throwing him off a building and declaring suicide.